Chris here, this is a little request that I had a couple of weeks ago or a week ago when I first got the stylus, not too long after that. Someone's asked if I could run Paint Shop. Now I've just installed the trial and uh, just let you know straight away that I'm not an expert. I'm complete actual novice at Photoshop here, so bear in mind, I'm just gonna do some really basic things here. So just gonna open up some images and move them around and use the tool and paint and things and see how that runs, because someone wanted to know just how that really works. And I think it's gonna be just fine, because what I've been using it for just my basic kind of stuff that I do, uh, I found the speed of it to be really good. So I'm just gonna load here an image that is, uh, oh, the hover's gonna let me see the dimensions, there we go. So it's 5,312, uh, sorry, 12, yes, by almost 3,000, so it's 16 megapixel camera photo here that I'm just gonna load in and just do some basic things with here. So the individual who requested it, sorry I can't remember your name, I get a lot of requests but I don't actually have a lot of time really to do them because they're very time consuming and often people request things that I don't own the program, I don't have to, I don't have it sorry, and I need to download it and I need to sign up for trials and I don't even know how to use it normally so you know it, it's, a, it's a bit of a pain so so you won't be seeing too many kind of requests from me in that regard there. So zoom, zoom in. I'm trying to zoom in here. Okay. I think it's easier with my finger here. So just zoom in a little bit, move the image around. The layer is locked. Well, unlock the layer. Ah, okay, new layer. Can I move it now? Yeah, so there's a little bit of lag there. I mean, as I roll, it's okay. Uh, let's just get the tool on here. Paintbrush tool. And you can see that I don't think, no, pressure sensitivity, at least in not in this version, um, it's not working, is it? No, not this one. This is CS5, so it's just a trial that I had that I could download, <coughs> that I had, sorry, off my hard drive that I installed. So there is some kind of bit more lag that you can see just there. So when you start doing, depends how fast you do the strokes, how much lag you're going to get here with it. Yeah, let's go for a light of colour. Oh, it's still on black. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I need to use the swatches, don't I? Or not. Okay, so, yeah, I'm even having trouble just changing the colour. I just, I only did, of course, in, in Photoshop here. Years and years ago, and really I just do not remember much at all, so I just don't use it enough. And yeah, you can see that yeah, sometimes there's a bit of a lag there, and the style seems to work okay. So you just start moving that around that layer, that there is a, yeah, there's, there's a bit of lag there, it's a bit choppy, but uh, it's quite a large image, isn't it? So it's... Uh, I think it's okay for Aquarium, the performance-wise of that. So if I can just see if I can do a few filter things, you know, I can do artistic blur, blur, film grain. Yeah, so on a larger image here, well, that's not actually the image, I need to do an image. It's just on my layer there. So that wasn't too bad. So if I select the image here, see, so just delete that layer of all the scribble that I put on there. So just apply a couple of filters here. So if I can just go to pixelate and whatever. Okay. Let's see how long that takes. That wasn't too bad there. That filter. Um, sketch one. Okay, so how long is it gonna to take to render this? It'll probably take a little while. It's only a dual core, core M, so Wow, I mean, that is completely overriding the whole image. Can't even see anything there. Okay. 
So I'll just apply that, see how long it takes. Took a while, and there it is. Then result, so it's giving me just a couple of artistic kind of looks. Whoa, yeah, it is a bit of choppy there. Depends what you're doing there with the zoom. Moving it around, yeah. So that's just a very quick demonstration there. Um, I hope that satisfies some people's needs to see on how it manipulates images there and filters. You can see that there is uh, a bit of lag there and it's definitely a bit choppy. But all in all, I think you can do basic things on the go. Definitely a lot faster than what a bay trail. I wouldn't really attempt to do all these kinds of things with the bay trails. They'll be like twice as slow than this. They'll be way, way, way slower. So a lot more lag and what noise. It's not doing too bad, I think, considering it is a tablet in the Corium there, and it's a 16 megapixel image. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll hopefully I'll see you in some up-and-coming videos that I'll have on tablets from China. Thank you for watching.